Audio Jungle. The opposite of talking isn't listening. The opposite of talking is waiting. As a teenager you are at the last stage in your life when you will be happy to hear that the phone is for you. If you are a dog and your owner suggests that you wear a sweater suggests that he wear a tail. Life is something to do when you can't get to sleep. Success didn't spoil me, I've always been insufferable. Great people talk about ideas, average people talk about things, and small people talk about wine. Food is an important part of a balanced diet. Vegetables are interesting but lack a sense of purpose when unaccompanied by a good cut of meat. In real life, I assure you, there is no such thing as algebra. Nature is by and large to be found out of doors, a location where, it cannot be argued, there are never enough comfortable chairs. I never met anyone who didn't have a very smart child. What happens to these children, you wonder, when they reach adulthood? Very few people possess true artistic ability. It is therefore both unseemly and unproductive to irritate the situation by making an effort. If you have a burning, restless urge to write or paint, simply eat something sweet and the feeling will pass. To put it rather bluntly, I am not the type who wants to go back to the land, I am the type who wants to go back to the hotel. In the Soviet Union, capitalism triumphed over communism. In this country, capitalism triumphed over democracy. I figure you have the same chance of winning the lottery whether you play or not. You're only as good as your last haircut. There is no such thing as inner peace. There is only nervousness or death. Any attempt to prove otherwise constitutes unacceptable behavior. Remember that as a teenager you are in the last stage of your life when you will be happy to hear the phone is for you. Even when freshly washed and relieved of all obvious confections, children tend to be sticky. If you are of the opinion that the contemplation of suicide is sufficient evidence of a poetic nature, do not forget that actions speak louder than words. Polite conversation is rarely either. All God's children are not beautiful. Most of God's children are, in fact, barely presentable. I must take issue with the term, a mere child, for it has been my invariable experience that the company of a mere child is infinitely preferable to that of a mere adult. The conversational overachiever is someone whose grasp exceeds his reach. This is possible but not attractive. Having been unpopular in high school is not just cause for book publications. If you are truly serious about preparing your child for the future, don't teach him to subtract, teach him to deduct. I place a high moral value on the way people behave. I find it repellent to have a lot, and to behave with anything other than courtesy in the old sense of the word, politeness of the heart, a gentleness of the spirit. Do not, on a rainy day, ask your child what he feels like doing, because I assure you that what he feels like doing, you won't feel like watching. My desire to curtail undue freedom of speech extends only to such public areas as restaurants, airports, streets, hotel lobbies, parks, and department stores. Verbal exchanges between consenting adults in private are as of little interest to me as they probably are to them. Stand firm in your refusal to remain conscious during algebra. In real life, I assure you, there is no such thing as algebra. Romantic love is mental illness. But it's a pleasurable one. It's a drug. It distorts reality, and that's the point of it. It would be impossible to fall in love with someone that you really saw. You can't go around hoping that most people have sterling moral characters. The most you can hope for is that people will pretend that they do.